Okay, in this video, we're going to go over how to solve a particular problem, which are called inscribed angles inside of a circle. Now, in this particular example, we have a quadrilateral inscribed inside this circle, which means that each point, each corner of the quadrilateral is on the circumference of the circle. And I want to show you how we can use the rules about inscribed angles to solve each one of these individual uh, angles, how much the measure of each individual angle. Okay, so let's get started. So we know that <clears throat> when you have an angle, for example, let's just take angle X, and it is basically, okay, the vertex is on a circumference, and then the chord goes out, two chords go out to the circle and the arc of the circle, right? And the rule says that the angle is equal to one half. So here I'm going to put over here, angle X is equal to one half the intercepted arc. Okay, the intercepted arc. Now. Let me see if I have enough room there. There we go, intercepted arc. Now in this case, the intercepted arc is this whole arc right here. And we happen to know that the whole arc is equal to 110 plus 30. So let's go ahead and put it over here. Angle X is equal to 1 half 110 plus 30, which is 140. Let's go ahead and do that, which turns out to be angle X is equal to 70 degrees. Okay, so now we know that angle X is 70 degrees. And let's just put that over here to the side. X is equal to 70 degrees. Now there's another rule that we know that in a quadrilateral inscribed inside a circle, the opposite angles are supplementary. Okay? So, opposite angles, let me call this the first rule that we looked at. This is going to be the second rule we looked at. Opposite angles inside an inscribed quadrilateral. I'm not going to write that all out here, but you can just remember it opposite angles in, actually let me write it out, inscribed quadrilateral, quadri, oops, lateral, are supplementary. Now remember that supplementary means supplementary Supplementary means they're equal to 180 degrees, okay? So we know that X, let's go over here, keep this organized, I guess. Angle X plus angle Y should be equal to 180 degrees. We can just substitute knowing that angle X is 70 plus Y equals 180 Therefore, y is equal to 110 degrees, okay? Now, there's another way that we can also figure out that angle y is equal to 110 degrees. <clears throat> we know that this part of the circle, right, from here all the way to here, is 140 degrees. But we know that a total circle is 300 degrees and 60 degrees, don't we? So we know that angle Y, if we look at this way and went to here, we would say that this intercepted arc should be equal to 360 minus 110, right? And then we can just use this formula over here. So let's start doing our, our information here. This is just a way of corroborating whether this is correct or not. We know that angle Y should be equal to one half this intercepted arc, which is 360 minus 140. Yeah. 
which means that angle Y is equal to 1 half. 360 minus 140 is 220. Half of 220 is equal to 110 degrees. And sure enough, that's what we discovered by using this formula over here. So this and this actually turn out to be the exact same uh, information, and you could have gone either way to figure that out. Okay, now let's continue to go here. Um, can we figure out this angle? Let's just call this angle A, and let's call this angle B. Can we figure out what angle A and angle B are just given the information that we have? Doesn't seem like it, does it? We do know. For example, we need to know what this particular arc is. We know that angle A should be equal to one half of angle 110, or excuse me, intercepted arc 110 plus this amount, but we don't know that amount, so that remains an unknown. We know the same thing with B. We know that B should be equal to this intercepted arc, right? which is 30 plus whatever this is. So the problem comes in trying to figure out what this arc and this arc are. We know that the total, right, is equal to 220, but we don't know in what proportions those are. We also know that A and B will equal 180, but again, that doesn't seem to help us. So anyway, that's how you can actually figure out angles inside inscribed, uh, in, inscribed angles, quadrilaterals inside of a circle. I hope that was helpful for you.